the Nets have suspended Kyrie Irving indefinitely after his anti-Semitic movie post. Irving posted a link to an anti-Semitic movie last week, but had not apologized until hours after the Nets had suspended him for a minimum of five games. They called him, quote, unfit to be associated with the team, end quote, because he had declined to say that he had no anti-Semitic views in the week since he posted the link on Twitter to a film with hateful claims about Jewish people. Which, side note, again, going back to the very first topic I brought up today about Elon Musk taking over Twitter, I just feel like there is way too much, like, first off, I'm not agreeing with Kyrie. I'm not standing by Kyrie. I'm not defending Kyrie. I think Kyrie's a giant piece of shit, not just for this, but in general, like his whole career speaks for himself. He's a very me person. What I am going to say is I just think when it comes to social media, number one, anything on social media is probably not good. Like, I, and I say that as I am broadcasting to, to social media, but I feel like if you are a celebrity, if you are somebody in, in the know, whether it's acting any type of sports, whatever. You will be scrutinized for anything and everything you ever say. So the fact that he would post something on social media, obviously this was Twitter, but even even if it was Instagram, Facebook, what it, like it doesn't matter. Again, going back to the ongoing theme. It's 2022. Like what were you thinking? But I digress. Uh the film called Hebrews, Hebrews and Negroes Wake Up Black America is driven by an anti-Semitic trope uh, about Jewish people lying about their origins. The movie's false and outlandish claims uh, are about Jews uh, include the assertion uh, that the Holocaust never happened. In the past week, the NBA and its players union released statements condemning anti-Semitism without naming Kyrie Irving. The Nets owner said in a tweet that he was, quote, disappointed with Irving and would speak to him privately. In a statement released with the Anti-Defamation League on Wednesday, Irving and the Nets said that they would each donate up to $500,000 to unspecified causes and organizations that combat hate in their communities. The NBA has penalized players for hate speech uh, in the past. Minnesota Timberwolves guard Anthony Edwards was fined $40,000 back in September for using homophobic language in a video that he had posted on social media. Back in March of 2021, the league fined Myers Leonard of the Miami Heat $50,000 and suspended him for one week because he had used an anti-Semitic slur while playing a video game on a live stream. Miami also suspended him for two days while the NBA investigated. Uh, since then, the Heat have quickly traded Leonard to OKC, which they in turn released him about a week later. No team has signed him since then. Uh, so that being said, it's 2022. At what point do you as a player, you as a public figure, you as a whoever, do you not understand that it's racism is not okay, uh, sexism, not okay, ageism, not okay, uh, discrimination about your sex, gender, uh, your religion, all of it, not okay. Like, I don't understand why this has to be a thing that you need to apologize for because you're wrong. Like, just, just be a goddamn human being. 2022, like... I'm older than most of you people. I'm 37. I learned this. I learned this stuff back in the fucking 80s. And you guys can't come to terms with it. Oh, well, I didn't think anything. You're being fucking ignorant. And the same goes for Kanye West, too. Apparently, Kanye West did some anti-Semitism rant or whatever, and people were pissed off about him. Like, first off, I don't even I don't even understand why people are pissed off at Kanye for saying something anti-Semitism or anti-Semitic, I should say. I don't even understand why people are pissed off about him. The fact that you guys give him a platform to talk on is ridiculous. 
just be done with him, walk away. He hasn't had anything good, relevant in this world since back in like what? Oh three, oh four. Oh, that was like his last album. Anybody else that wants to argue that, come find me. Leave your comments in the post, like right here. I'm all game for it because that dude's fucking nuts. So it's 2022. You're going to sit here and just bash whatever, say whatever, do whatever. Like, stop. Just stop. Not worth it. Move on. Social media is toxic. And now you're starting to learn that these players are toxic. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. Until one of these players sit there and say, well, I'm not a role model or this is not my platform. Because then that would totally counteract everybody else across every sport, every everything that is in the public eye to say, no, we have a, a duty and a right to the platforms that we are given. Which also, no, you don't. You don't have a right to do goddamn thing. I don't care if you're fucking Brad Pitt. Just because you're Brad Pitt doesn't give you the right to tell me what your politics are or what you believe. Like, I don't care. I pay to go watch your movies. Shut up. I don't want to hear you talk. Same goes for all the athletes. LeBron, you fucking suck. Your whole team sucks. You're garbage. You're you're nothing. But by all means, tell me why you stand up for Kyrie Irving. I would love to hear it. What? You, you shave your head and now you're like one with everybody? Shut the fuck up. All of you. All of you. Done with it. 